Concept Analysis in Nursing, Self-Care Assessment Introduction Ali Good argues that theoretical knowledge is not necessarily unrelated to practice. A better understanding of nursing is often facilitated by research into theories and concepts that are utilized in the profession. The significance of this process resides in the fact that theory, among other things, allows us to analyze the best practices and crystallize the healthcare paradigms that advance modern medicine for the sake of better patient health outcomes. Such work was performed, for example, by Dorothea Oram, who developed a self care theory. The philosophy behind it is based on the notion of self care, which is the ability and will of every human being to address their basic health care needs by themselves. The current concept analysis will elaborate on the application, attributes, precedents, consequences of the use, and empiric methods of self care assessment. Self care concept Self care could be identified, as was mentioned above, as a person's ability to care for his or her health. Additionally, the concept could represent preventative actions aimed at preserving health and well being. Above that, self care could mean the treatment of minor illnesses conditions, and injuries based on common knowledge of the symptoms and ways of treatment. All these definitions can form a unified concept of self-care, which can be defined as the ability of a human being to prevent, identify, and treat various adverse health conditions, illnesses, and injuries without intervention from the medical staff. The concept of self-care could be applied in a variety of settings. In households, self-care could be used in the form of treating minor cuts and bruises without medical interference. Headaches, minor strains, stress, anxiety, and other non-serious issues can be treated without bothering professionals because even the basic knowledge is enough to identify, prevent, or treat those adversities. The concept can also be applied in professional settings such as a hospital or an office where cases of stress are often encountered. Rehabilitation of the elderly could also be a valid sphere for the concept application as older adults could learn to perform self-care actions through engagement with nurses. According to Oram and Taylor, self-care theory splits into several smaller concepts, self-care requisites, self-care deviations, and self-care systems. The first includes universal self-care needs such as air, water, food, and other things. The second is related to the inability of an individual to provide care for him or herself. The self-care system refers to the range of capacities of individuals and the complexity of the relationships of the latter with medical personnel. Another vital aspect of the self-care concept is a self-care agency, which is the capacity of a person to perform actions aimed at preserving, identifying, and treating minor conditions within the limits of his or her knowledge. When precedents are concerned, it may be deemed reasonable to consider treatment of minor illnesses and injuries in almost every household or workplace that has a first aid kit as an act of self-care. As for the consequences of such an approach, general improvements in health and well-being across the lifespan, from adolescence to senior age, can be named. It is noteworthy to mention that a nurse's role in the creation of positive precedents and consequences is sizable. A viable empirical method that can measure the concept of self-care is the observation of domains and practices related to self-care. These areas and techniques can include health literacy, self-awareness of physical and mental conditions, healthy food habits, risk mitigation, hygiene, and rational use of medicine. With the help of these notions, the success of self-care in a range of spheres and populations could be measured. Conclusion Overall, the concept of self-care could be defined as personal identification, prevention, and treatment of various illnesses, diseases, and injuries with no help from professionals. The concept can be implemented in a variety of spheres and has multiple uses. Most importantly, it helps lower the burden of healthcare providers and improves the overall level of health throughout the population.